Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today's Gina Curl video is going to be a little bit different but a whole lot of fun. So after 18 years of being natural, getting a chemical in my hair, doing a Gina Curl was a huge step outside of my comfort zone. But one of the absolutely fantastic things that came out of it is that it really pushed me to be more adventurous, a little less hesitant in my life in general. I've tried a bunch of new things that I probably wouldn't have tried before. And that has definitely been true when it comes to my hair. So for today's Gina Curl video, we're gonna be experimenting with my Gina Curl and a little color. We're gonna be doing a head-to-head -head comparison of the internet's most loved temporary hair color brands. You ready? Let's go. So I've always been intrigued by hair color. When I was in high school, there was a show I used to watch called Instant Star, and the main character, Jude, had this gorgeous color in her hair. It was a mix of like fire engine red and burgundy, and it was just gorgeous and stunning and clearly very artificial, but just, I loved it. I wanted it. I was convinced that if I rocked that hair color, I would get discovered. I would be flown to Milan, flown to the streets of Paris where I'd walk the runway, forget all the little people. I was just gonna reach the culmination of my young life. And so I asked my mom if I could dye my hair that color. And she being an adult at that time and a wise one, recognized very quickly that if I was to actually dye my hair that color, if it didn't fall out, I would probably end up looking like Raggedy Ann after a long day of work. So very swiftly, but also very politely, she declined my request. Thank you, mom. But I always say one of the benefits of being an adult, one of the benefits of being grown, aside from the fact that I can spend as much money on sushi as I want, when I want it, one of the other great things about being grown is that I can do what I want with my hair. But also, I now have a little bit more wisdom and a little bit more creativity. I have discovered these two products that allow me to dye my hair, allow me to experiment with color, but also do zero damage to my hair. I know when it comes to temporary hair color, I'm a little late in the game, but I, in general in my life, have been a little bit of a late bloomer. I, I didn't have my first boyfriend until I was in med school, and I definitely still enjoy a good episode of Blue's Clues. So I know I'm a little late, but better late than never. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing these two great products. Curl Smith Hair Makeup Color Recipe Gel. And the second one is the Mofang Zhang Hair Coloring Material. Most people call it a hair wax, but literally on the bottle it says hair coloring material. We're gonna call it what it is. So I'm gonna be doing a head-to-head -head comparison of these two products. I'm gonna be talking about everything from ease of use to price, color payoff to curl definition, and we're actually gonna be using them today so that you can see what the final products look like. At the end of all that, I'm gonna tell you which one is my favorite so you can save yourself a little cash. Just get one. If you just get one instead of getting both of them, you can get an extra order of chicken wings. More than worth it. So before we get started, I'm gonna prep my hair. Now, most people I've seen using these products on the internet have done it in one of two ways. Some people have used these products as their styling cream, and honestly, that has worked for a lot of people, and the Curl Smith product is actually marketed as a curl styling gel. Other people have used their, you know, their normal day-to-day -day curl styling cream and then immediately put these color products on top. For me, I've tried both methods, and honestly, I wasn't happy with the results of either. These products significantly changed my curl pattern. I just didn't get as good definition with them, didn't get as good clumping, got a little bit too much frizziness. And so I kind of had to think of a different way. I used that old adult creativity that I was talking about earlier and came up with a different method. So what I have been doing actually has been plopping my hair so that I can get my normal curl pattern and I can start to set that normal curl pattern. And then after I'm done plopping, I go in on top with these color products, trying to disturb that curl pattern as little as possible. But it's great because I get my own normal everyday curl pattern with a little bit of color on top. Now, if you guys don't remember what plopping is or you need a little bit of a refresher, I'm gonna link that video where I show you how I style my hair right now and you can check out the method. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do that exact method that I use to style my hair in that video and then I'm gonna come back while I'm plopping so we can talk a little bit more about these products. See you soon. Here I am plopping, not as vulgar as it sounds. So let's talk a little bit more about these products. In terms of color, I got the Curl Smith copper hair gel and then I got the Mufang Zhang orange hair gel. My goal is to create like a honey blonde brown ombre look and these are the right colors to do it. I know the orange sounds really weird but you'll see it 
it comes out like a nice little light brown. So straight off the bat, the most notable difference between these two products is their packaging. Curl Smith's product has packaging that's a lot more Instagrammable. It's cute. It's, you know, it's just, it looks nice. But I'll tell you why I actually prefer this one. When you're trying to get product out of packaging, ease of use for me is the most important thing. This one, you just unscrew, you dip your hand in, you dip your finger in, you get as much or as little as you want, you call it a day and you move on. This kind of product is gonna have you doing this every five seconds. And then you're gonna have one huge arm, one little arm, and you're just gonna look like a freak. I think sometimes companies think that putting it in the sleep packaging makes it easier to use, but honestly, it makes the process a little bit slower. In terms of price, I paid $19.99 for this bottle, and it is three fluid ounces. And I paid $9.99, $9.99 for 4.23 fluid ounces of the Mufang Zhang hair wax. So in terms of price, Mufang Zhang, clear winner. You get more for less. So those are initial impressions. I'm gonna go finish plopping and then I'm gonna come back and we're actually gonna start using these products. Okay, so I'm back. I have taken off the t-shirt. I've removed the bobby pins from my part and I'm ready to get started. So first things first, the reason I have parted my hair like I did in the early 2000s in middle school is because I'm gonna do half of my hair with the Mufang Zhang and half of my hair with the Curl Smith so we can do a head-to-head -head comparison. That's what I promised you guys, a head-to-head -head comparison. So let's start with the Mufang Zhang and then we're gonna move to the Curl Smith. Just to let you guys know, the way I'm applying it is I'm gonna concentrate most of it at the ends of my hair and then work my way up a little bit to create an ombre look down to the bottom. I'm also gonna be using mostly an open-handed smoothing pattern so that I can maintain as much of this curl pattern, my usual curl pattern, as possible. So let's get started. I'm going in with the Mufang Zhang now. Again, guys, I am trying to maintain this curl pattern, so I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. Okay, now I'm just scrunching, trying to revive that curl pattern a little bit, and you can see the way I've applied it. Most of the color is concentrated down here, and then there's kind of, hopefully, an ombre effect going up, and then the roots are gonna be mostly my natural hair color. Let's switch over. So this is really orange, but as you guys can see here, and it's even gonna be more visible when it dries, it's really gonna dry like a honey blonde. It's really nice. Okay, hands are clean. We're gonna be switching over to the Carl Smith hair gel. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we gotta, whatever. All right. Mix, 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 a little thicker. This is, huh? this is a little thicker, a little bit less of a, the Mufang Chong is very like whipped in texture, almost like kind of like a whipped topping. This is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit stickier too. All right, same thing on this side, starting at the bottom. Working my way up top. Working my way up top, walking fast, and my curls are plopped. This is this is super easy. Scrunching on this side. And guys, I think we're done. That was pretty simple. Do you guys see how the curl pattern is maintained? I get to keep my original curl pattern that I rock every day because I use my own product plopped it, and now I'm just adding color on top of that curl pattern. I'm not going with the curl pattern that these color products would have given me. I don't want that. I want my own curl pattern. So we're gonna let these products dry, and then we're gonna come back and look at the final product. Okay, friends, so we are mostly dry, and here is the final look for both. Straight off the bat, let's talk about first things first, the color. So starting on this side, this is the Mufang Zhang hair wax. You can see it's a really cool, like, 
brown honey color. I, I love this color. On this side, we have more of the coppery metallic look that we get from Curl Smith. I, I love both colors, I really do. I love the Curl Smith's warmness. I actually like it more with my skin tone than I do the Mafangjong. But with the Curl Smith, the copper truly is copper. So it's metallic, it has a sheen, has a little bit of glitter in it. And so it's a little bit less natural looking than the Mafangjong. I love the Mufangjong. This color is something I used to rock when I had a weave. In medical school, I had a cute little curly weave that I used to kind of ombre bleach. It was on point. And for those of you who didn't know it was a weave in med school, I, I didn't lie. I just withheld the truth. But honestly, I'm gonna say for me, the Mufangjong gets it in terms of color just because it looks like a natural brown, honey blonde hair color. I really, really like that. In terms of curl pattern, it's a subtle difference, but again, Mafangjang takes it. So looking at the Pearl Smith side, you can see a little bit more stringiness, a little bit more frizz on this side, a little less clumpiness of the curls. Whereas if you compare it to the Mafangjang side, guys, look how defined, look how frizz-free these curls look. The Mafangjang allows me to preserve the curl definition, the curl pattern that I'm used to and that I like. In terms of the cast, both of them give a crunchy cast at the bottom. It just is what it is. You're gonna get a little bit of crunchiness. I honestly think, again, this side feels a little bit better, a little bit softer. Now for both sides, when it's completely dry, I'm gonna go through and kind of crunch out that cast. But this side already initially off the bat feels a little bit softer and just a little bit less crispy. So again, here's up close what each side looks like. You guys be the judge, I mean, whatever you guys like. If you guys like a looser, kind of more separated curl pattern, then you might like the Curl Smith better. But I personally, I'm really, I'm really feeling this side. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was super helpful for you. And I hope that now you're inspired to try some temporary color in your hair, but also know which one to start with. So don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment below this video. Tell me which brand you like the most. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, bye.